Bonjour, friendship ladies. Are you over 50 and afraid of looking frumpy? I am going to show you outfits that I see women wearing and how I, as a stylist over 60, would help them dump the frump and unleash their style. But stay to the end for my most important advice. The first outfit for women over 50 that we are going to defrump is everything oversized. And you have the dark color, black, and you have the grandpa's Velcro sandals. Is this because they want to disappear altogether? This outfit signals in an instant that they no longer care about what they wear. This is not a happy place to be and a happy outfit to wear. What do you think? How can we defrump this outfit well, what about lightening up the cardigan? Here we are wearing a sweater and cardigan set. They are both cut closer to the body, giving you a waist and showing off your silhouette. The pants are still black. The leg is longer, they flaying off at the knee. Therefore, it elongates your legs, giving you a lovely hourglass figure, which is very flattering. The footwear is very important in an outfit. I would like you to think of footwear no longer as accessories, but as an integral part of the outfit. Therefore, you will see shoes as important and no longer as an afterthought. And now look at the difference between those horrible Velcro sandals in our first outfit and those shoes in the second one. They have a pointed toe, which help elongate the legs and therefore elongate the whole silhouette. And a small heel helps to elevate your silhouette as well. Even if they had a flat heel, these shoes with a pointed toe will be 100 times better than those flat sandals. We could also push the envelope a little bit and add some color to this outfit with this little red cardigan. Can you see again la différence this makes to the wearer? Nous avons ajouté du peps from frumpy to chic in an instant. Our next frumpy outfit for women over 50 that we are going to defrump is the sportswear look. Here is another way that many women over 50 dress every day. It is a bad habit that has stayed in place since lockdown. People call them comfortable clothes, but you can still wear comfortable clothes that are not frumpy. If you thought that wearing light grey jock pants plus sweatshirt plus trainers was not bad enough, they had to add the long grey cardigan. So let's look at this outfit in detail. If you look closely, you will see that there isn't any square angles. We can see only round edges from the lapels to the shoulders and the sleeves, from the round neckline of the sweatshirt to the waistline, the way the fabric of the jock pants go poofy at the ankles, and also the cuffs and the style of the trainers. Everything has round edges, and this compounds the frumpy effect. If you thought that that outfit was frumpy because of all that grey, Believe me that there are some great outfits that are absolutely beautiful and chic. Let's have a look at our different outfit. So this is what you could wear instead. Now you can see that it was not due to the grey that was at fault in the first outfit, because this outfit is in a light grey shade, but is anything but frumpy. It is fashion forward, it is modern, it is chic. So let's have a closer look to this outfit. The sweater is in a fine material. It's cut closer to the body and looks like of good quality. And it shows the wearer. The sleeves are long, but they don't look frumpy. It is the trousers here that are the star of the outfit. It has a waistband where you could add a belt if you wanted to. It is well cut, it has a wide leg, it has a little sheen in the fabric which is lovely and it is pulling at the feet, which is fashionable but I think it could be shortened to be more practical. The sandals are modern but you could also wear heels with a pointed toe, boots or sling bags. This outfit looks très chic but even if you added 
sneakers to the look. This will still not look frumpy, but chic. Also, let's remember that in a frumpy outfit, it was all about round edges and curves. But you can see in this outfit that straight lines have been introduced at the waistline, at the pleats, at the zip, at the pockets, and at the wide legs. So all this is due to design, and that's one of the main things that makes this outfit really chic and not frumpy. Can you see now what makes an outfit frumpy and what makes an outfit chic? Our next frumpy outfit for women over 50 that we are going to differ from is the midi skirt outfit. Let's have a look at the skirt first. You see, this type of skirt is a bit tricky to wear. Be careful with pleats because they can add one to two inches around the tummy area, around the waistline, the bottom and the legs. However, in this case, this is mitigated by the two colors of the skirts in the pleats that create vertical lines. So this would be visually slimming. Also the midi length that can be very tricky to wear because the hemline stops at the calves, which is not always flattering to the legs. A sweatshirt is a sportswear, so wearing this sportswear as they wear can be a tad frumpy. The sweatshirt is not uplifting the skirt in any way, shape or form. Also, we have the silver trainers. These are not lean sneakers. They are wide sports trainers. And again, we have that sportswear vibe and look with a skirt sandwiched between the two. A midi length hemline worn with shoes that are wide, that are cut straight across the ankle, that has a high vamp, shorten the legs visually. And this is frumpy by itself. I see either a sporty outfit, the wrong skirt or bottom, or a skirt with a wrong top and shoes. So how can we differ? In this second outfit, we have a midi-length skirt in an A-line shape. There's no pleat in sight and this looks modern and lean. This skirt is worn with a matching turtleneck sweater that is cut close to the body so we can see the silhouette of the wearer. Have you noticed that the wearer looks like an hourglass in this outfit? Whereas in our frumpy outfit, there was absolutely no silhouette visible. For la pièce de résistance, the black leather knee-high boots. Yes, they have a high heel, but even with a flat heel, if you can't wear heels, this outfit would look good, as long as you keep the detailing minimal. And now for my most important style advice. Think of yourself as a chic, happy, elegant lady. You will then avoid dressing frumpy. If you want to know 10 more style mistakes that make you look frumpy, Watch the video on screen now.